uncontrolled anger can lead to physical and emotional health problems, as well as damage to our relationships with others. In this video, we'll explore 10 effective ways to manage anger and help you lead a more peaceful and fulfilling life. Number 10. Recognizing your anger triggers is the first step in managing your anger. Take some time to identify what situations or people tend to make you angry. Once you know what triggers your anger, you can develop strategies to avoid or manage those situations. For example, if you find that traffic jams make you angry, you could try leaving earlier to avoid rush hour or listening to calming music while you drive. By understanding your triggers and developing coping mechanisms, you can take control of your anger and prevent it from negatively impacting your life. Number 9. When you feel yourself becoming angry or overwhelmed, it's important to recognize when your emotions are getting the best of you and to remove yourself from the situation. Give yourself time to calm down and collect your thought. You can go for a walk, practice deep breathing, or simply count to 10 before responding. Taking a break can help you avoid saying or doing something you'll regret later, and it can also give you the opportunity to approach the situation with a clearer and more level-headed perspective. Remember, it's okay to take a step back and prioritize your mental and emotional well-being, especially in high-stress situations. Number 8. Mindfulness is a powerful technique that can help you manage your anger by reducing stress and increasing self-awareness by focusing on the present moment and accepting your thoughts and feelings without judgment. You can learn to control your emotions and respond to situations in a more calm and rational way. Whether it's through meditation yoga or simply taking a few deep breaths, taking some time each day to practice mindfulness can have a profound impact on your mental and emotional well-being. So why not give it a try and see how it can help you manage your anger and improve your overall quality of life? Remember, practicing mindfulness is not a one-time solution but rather a continuous effort to cultivate a more peaceful and centered mindset. With patience and dedication, you can learn to harness the power of mindfulness and transform your relationship with anger. Number seven, negative self-talk can be a major obstacle in managing anger. It can make you feel helpless and out of control, leading to further frustration and anger. However, practicing positive self-talk can be a powerful tool in managing anger. By giving yourself affirmations like I can handle this or I am in control of my emotions, you can shift your mindset and stay calm and focused in difficult situations. So the next time you feel anger rising, try using positive self-talk to help you stay in control and avoid escalating the situation. Remember, you have the power to control your thoughts and emotions and positive self-talk can be a key tool in harnessing that power and improving your overall well-being. Number six, regular exercise can also improve your sleep quality, which can have a positive impact on your mood and ability to manage anger. In addition, exercise can provide a healthy outlet for pent-up emotions and energy, allowing you to release any tension or frustration in a productive way. So make exercise a priority in your daily routine, whether it's going for a jog, taking a dance class, or simply going for a walk outside. Your body and mind will thank you for the positive effects it can have on your overall well-being. Not only does exercise help with managing anger, but it can also boost your self-esteem and confidence. When you exercise, your body releases endorphins, which are natural mood boosters that can help you feel more positive and energized. This can lead to a greater sense of self-worth and a more positive outlook on life. So, if you're feeling down or struggling with anger management, try incorporating regular exercise into your routine and see how it can benefit your mental and emotional health. Number five, if you find that your anger is causing problems in your relationships, work, or other areas of your life, it's important to seek professional help. A therapist or counselor can provide you with tools and techniques to manage your anger, as well as help you identify and address any underlying issues that may be contributing to your anger. Remember, seeking help is a sign of strength and it can lead to a happier, healthier life. Don't let anger control your life and relationships. 
take the first step towards a better future by seeking the help you need today. It's important to remember that managing anger is a process and it may take time and effort to see results. However, with the right support and resources, it is possible to overcome anger issues and improve your relationships and overall well-being. Don't hesitate to reach out for help if you need it. Number four, assertiveness is a crucial skill that can help you navigate through various situations in life, whether it's in your personal or professional life. It involves expressing your needs and feelings in a clear and respectful way without being aggressive or passive. By practicing assertiveness, you can avoid bottling up your emotions and prevent them from turning into anger, which can negatively impact your mental and physical health. It also allows you to communicate effectively with others, build healthy relationships, and achieve your goals. So don't hesitate to speak up for yourself and set boundaries when necessary, as it can lead to a more fulfilling and satisfying life. Remember, assertiveness is not about being rude or aggressive, but rather about being confident and respectful in your communication. Number three, using humor can be an incredibly effective way to diffuse a tense situation and manage your anger. It can help you to see the situation from a different perspective and reduce the intensity of your emotions. When you find humor in a situation, it can help you to feel more relaxed and less stressed, which can be especially helpful in high pressure situations. Making a lighthearted joke or comment can also break the tension and create a more positive atmosphere, which can help to de-escalate the situation. However, it's important to be mindful of the type of humor you use and to avoid sarcasm or humor that may be hurtful to others, as this can make the situation worse. Remember, the goal is to lighten the mood and find a way to move forward in a positive way that benefits everyone involved. Number two, forgiveness is a powerful tool in managing anger and can have a profound impact on your overall emotional well-being. When we hold on to anger and resentment, it can be harmful to our mental health, leading to increased stress and anxiety. By practicing forgiveness, we can let go of grudges and focus on the positive aspects of our relationships with others. This can lead to greater happiness, a more fulfilling life, and even improved physical health. Studies have shown that forgiveness can lower blood pressure, reduce symptoms of depression, and boost the immune system. So, if you're struggling with anger and negative emotions, consider the power of forgiveness as a way to move forward and improve your life. Remember, forgiveness is not about excusing bad behavior or forgetting past wrongs. It's about choosing to let go of negative emotions and finding peace within yourself by forgiving others. You can free yourself from the burden of anger and resentment and open yourself up to a more positive and fulfilling life. Number one taking care of your physical and emotional health is essential in managing anger. It's important to prioritize getting enough sleep, eating a healthy diet, and engaging in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. When you take care of yourself, you'll be better equipped to manage your emotions and avoid becoming overwhelmed by anger. Additionally, regular exercise can also be a great way to release pent-up emotions and reduce stress levels. Remember, self-care is not selfish. It's necessary for your overall well-being. So, make sure to take some time out of your busy schedule to do things that make you happy and help you relax. Whether it's reading a book, taking a walk in nature, practicing yoga, or simply spending time with loved ones, find what works for you and make it a regular part of your routine. Your mind and body will thank you for it. We hope that these tips will help you in your journey towards better anger management. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement tips and advice. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos.